What's up guys, it's Nate from the Phone Dev Team, and lately I've been getting asked what is the tethering application I like to use on iOS 5. Now my iPhone 4 is jailbroken, and for this tweak, you have to be jailbroken. Now, the application that I used to use was called PDANet, since iOS 5 Beta 1, but then slowly started to die off in iOS 5 Beta 5, and officially died off in iOS 5 Beta 6 and Beta 7. Now the tweak that I like to use is called Tether Me. It is $4.99 on the Big Boss repository, and it does not enable a springboard icon. All it does is no enables personal hotspot right underneath your Wi-Fi options. So after your initial download and your initial respringing, you go into your settings application. You may notice personal hotspot is not underneath your Wi-Fi options. So go ahead and go into general network and then back out of it immediately. All that does is it kind of tricks your phone into saying, hey, Tether Me is here, let's go ahead and go back. Now, personal hotspot is there, so what we will do is we will go ahead and enable it for now. We'll set my iPhone 4 to the side, just at the edge of the camera, and bring my iPod Touch 4th generation into the screenshot. Now, Tether Me allows you to tether via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB. The primary demonstration today is Bluetooth because most people know how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and also connect via USB. Okay, so my guinea pig here is my iPod Touch 4th generation and what I will do is I will go ahead and go into my Bluetooth options. Your Bluetooth needs to be enabled on both devices for this to work. So go to General, Bluetooth, make sure it is on. And with personal hotspot enabled on my iPhone 4, it has been discovered here on my iPod Touch 4. And all I do is click on my uh, iPhone 4's name, and it has been enabled. So now I am officially tethered onto my iPhone 4's uh, 3G network on my iPod Touch 4th generation. Now when you have officially been tethered via TetherMe, you see a chain link instead of Wi-Fi bars. This is a clear indication that you are being tethered right now and it lets you know whether you want to go back on the Wi-Fi or remain tethered. It's up to you. So, as a quick demonstration, I will go ahead and load up a web page. It will go to www.pwndevteam.com This is our website. It is managed by Jason. He is one of the Pwn Dev Team members. And hopefully it will load up here real soon. There we go. And as you can see, my iPhone 4's network works wonderful. And I have been able to access the web. Alright? So, how you know that you are tethering on your iPhone 4, uh, it doesn't show a chain link like it does on the other device. But what it does is it gives you a blue highlighted status bar saying personal hotspot and the number of devices connected. Right now I have one device connected and that would be the iPod Touch 4th generation that I showed you in the earlier demonstration. So guys, this is Nate. Make sure you rate and comment down below and I will see you in the next video.